Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a modern underwater house. This is the amount of space required to make your build. Here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. Please do make sure that you have access to all of these. First of all, I would recommend building this underwater. You can actually build this on the surface and it will look cool, but it is meant to be built underwater. Second, once you are underwater, I would recommend number one, a potion of water breathing if you need it, but more importantly, a potion of night vision so we can actually see. Once all of that has been taken care of, begin by digging a row of seven in the ground, extending left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then extend inwards, one, two, three. Left, one, two, three, four. Extend forwards one, left one, forwards, left by three, one, two, three, inwards one, left one, inwards one, two, three, four, right one, back one, right by one, two, three, forwards one, right one, forwards one, right by one, two, three, four, inwards one, two, three, right one, two, back one, back and to the right by one, forwards and right by one, extend forwards one, right two, one, two, and then simply connect back by extending forwards. The end result should be this, it actually kind of looks like a watering can. This next part is quite simple. We have to fill the strange shape that we have left in using smooth quartz. This is actually going to show us where we have to place all of the glass for our build. And once we have placed all of these smooth quartz, we can now place a layer of two glass block on top of every single smooth quartz that we have placed. Some smooth quartz will require a different shape of glass in the end, but we can begin just by simply placing a layer of two glass on top of every single block, and then we can go from there. Okay, now that we have the base of our base complete, we want to grab smooth quartz slabs and we want to place them on top of the two connecting rows of glass block that joins the left and right side of our build together. We want to place two rows of smooth quartz slab like this and then join them in the middle at the top. We also want to place an additional row of smooth quartz slabs on the very right side of the rectangular part of our build. We then want to grab glass block and we want to extend every single glass on the right side of the build except 
for where the entrance will be, we want to extend all of this glass upwards and then join it together at the top. And it will end up looking like a large rectangle with a little bit missing on the left and right sides. This back portion here of glass, this rounded shape, is the entrance slash exit, depending which way you look at it. The purpose of this is to take us up to the surface. So, if we create a vacuum or a closed off area in the center of this row of three and then becomes four, when we extend up the final part of our build, or the final part of the entrance slash exit, this will be how we get up and down into the house. All the way up at the top, I would recommend placing some smooth quartz slabs and then an oak trap door just right up at the top like this. And that will just help you see it if you kind of forget where the house is. So now that we have done this, we can move over onto this left side, and this is really, really easy. As all we have to do is simply fill in the empty shape or empty space left at the top of the circular part of the house. So we literally just fill this in with the shape that we had anyway. Now, once that has been done, we can add another little design detail. So the tunnel that joins the left and right side of the build together, I like to kind of use it as like, you know how ships have the little holes in them that like you can stick uh, cannons out of? I think that they're called portholes. Well, the idea is kind of similar here. I like the idea that you can kind of like flip this down and take a look outside of your house. I'd also recommend placing sea lanterns underneath these portholes, and I think that it makes a nice little bit of difference. So that leaves us with this. The next thing I would recommend doing is clearing your house of water. The easiest way to do this is using sponge, and this will make your house habitable. We will also have to sponge out all of the entrance slash exit, but that's perfectly okay. Now once that has been done, we can add a ladder that leads us all the way back up to the surface. So this leads us all the way up to the top here, and we can even flip the entrance trapdoor open. Clearing the floor is relatively simple. The floor is majoritively smooth quartz, except for the farm portion of the house, which is in the little dome. The center of the dome will be smooth quartz, and then left and right of it will be dirt. Now that we have made the floor, we are left with a perfectly prepared house. All we have to do is make the interior. So, I'm going to begin with the farm section. The farm section will require a hoe, some seeds of any kind, and a chest. So, I'm going to place a chest right on the end here, and I'm going to hoe out one side and replace it with a mixture of beetroot and wheat seeds. The opposite side, we don't have to hoe out at all, as I'm simply going to place sweet berries. Now, on the main portion of the house, the rectangular portion, this is where things are a bit different. We need to first of all make a sofa, so that's made using smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz slabs. We'll need red glazed terracotta, note blocks, black concrete, painting, scaffolding, and lanterns. So as soon as we enter the house, on the right is the sofa, so that's made using a sideways quartz stairs, a regular quartz stairs next to it, smooth quartz slab hanging off, dig in front of it, replace it with some red glazed terracotta or whatever material you would like. Opposite this, I want to place a couple of note blocks in the corner with black concrete on top, and then I want to place a painting on the TV that I like, which is this one. This is my personal favorite painting, I think. Then, next to this, a table with a lantern on top of it, a table being scaffolding. And then over here in this corner, 
we are going to dig underneath and then in front of. So the two blocks in front I want to replace with smooth quartz stairs and then we can either place barrels or a double chest underneath here or in this hole here and the idea is that we will place a bed on top if it will allow us actually. We need also an armor stand and a bunch of other stuff which is conveniently right there. <laughs> I really should have placed the chest inside of the house. If it will let us, we want to place a bed on top of the double barrels. Next to this, an armor stand, and we want to outfit this with armor. I personally really like gold. And then on this opposite wall here, smooth quartz block with an item frame and an iron trap door in front. And then if we swap out some materials, I might as well wear the rest of this armor, why not? We need a furnace, detector rail, or rather, yeah, block of iron, stone button, birch trap door, flower pot, oak saplings, and then we have a bunch of decorative stuff for the outside. So, on top of this, a flower pot with an oak sapling, left of this, a furnace with a detector rail, Next to this, two blocks of iron on top of each other, a stone button in front of the top, and below it, a birch trap door flipped down, and believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, we have actually fully completed the build. I feel as though I'm seeing double. The only thing that you may want to do now is lightly decorate the outside of your build using a mixture of corals and seagrass and sea pickles, and other underwater fun natural decorative blocks. You don't have to go too crazy with these at all. A nice small amount of them just dotted around the outside of your house. If there aren't these things already, will just add a little bit of life to your build. And that is that everybody. I do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Remember, like and subscribe, click that little bell next to the subscription button that will ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. Thank you so much for watching, I hope to see you in the next one, goodbye!